What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to 4 Strategy Gaming. Time for some more StarCraft 2 commentary. Today it will be a series between Mouse's Hasu and MTW's Damaga. You can see we're starting things off here on Tau Darim Altar. We do have Mouse's Hasu here in the bottom left hand position as our red Protoss player. And then over here in the upper right hand position, MTW's Damaga as the blue Zerg. Will be a Protoss versus Zerg series, Hasu versus Damaga. Game number one here on Taldarim Altar. Thanks so much, guys, for uh, hanging around. And obviously, a big thank you to all of my subscribers. Uh, just recently hit the 100,000 subscriber mark. And from what I've been told, that is some sort of a milestone in YouTube uh, in YouTube channelness or whatever we want to call it. Um, so pretty awesome stuff. 100,000 subscribers. I cannot even believe it. It's been one year, and already 100,000 people have said, you know what? I like this guy. I'm going to follow him around on YouTube and see what he does. And uh, I think that's pretty cool in all honesty and you know what I'm I, I'm I work hard at this and uh, I, I give it my all and I'm, I'm really shooting for this might sound ridiculous but I'm shooting for 500,000 one year from now so next birthday of mine when I'm 28 oh my gosh can't believe I just said that no I'm not 28 I'm gonna be 27 what am I talking about I'm going crazy I don't even know how old I am anymore uh, <laughs> during my next birthday though uh, hopefully we'll be looking at 500,000 subscribers yes that is my plan that's my goal Looking to get more people on the forced train here. That's kind of creepy. But anyways, let's pay attention to the game. Just thanks again, subscribers. I uh, appreciate you all. I will be doing StarCraft 2 commentary as long as possible, as long as it's still interesting, and as long as you guys still enjoy it. Because you know what? That's how I started out, so got to keep at it. All right, we can see right now Hasu doing his best to stop Demaga from expanding. And that is uh, very rude of you, Hasu. Very rude indeed. In fact, coming down there with a the pylon, and that's going to prevent him from being able to uh, obviously place that hatchery down. He will have to wait until he gets those initial Zerglings through and at that point in the game then he will finally be able to uh, work his way on into dropping that pylon and then finally getting that expansion and it looks like yes Hasu does decide to let it finish sometimes you will see Protoss players instead of letting it finish they'll instead just cancel it and then try to drop another one uh, but we can see Hasu decided to let it go up and he will be as a result sacrificing that Back over here, we can see Hasu is going for that expansion. Of course, the Forge Fast expand is what we will be seeing from him. So we can see that cannon coming on through. Nexus is working its way on through as well. And then he will be working down with a gateway in Cyber Next Core to finish that wall off completely. Back over here, we will still be seeing uh, Hasu's worker actually continue to dance around. And we can finally see, at last, Demaga was able to get rid of that pylon. And as such, drop down with his hatchery. Back over here, we can see still no extractor for Demaga. He is pretty comfortable with what he has at the moment and look at this Demaga going for a very quick third so so sneaky now we do have Hasu's probe over here and will he scout that out that's the major question if Hasu can spot that Demaga is going to be in a whole heap load of trouble finally moving in right now with that secondary scouting he just wants to make sure okay that hatchery is there now it's time for him to move up into the main and just take a look at exactly what Demaga's got going on up here Looking for extractors, looking for a roach horn. Big thing that he does want to know, actually, is whether or not Demaga is trying to go for that roach speedling push that can be very effective at breaking a forge fast expand. Now, Hasu, in not spotting any extractors, that's tipping him off immediately to the likelihood of a third expansion. And will he be scouting it, or is he just going to be kind of pulling back uh, with that probe and not moving up into that upper left? Because, again, as we can see, Demaga's expansion is up here. And if Hasu can scout that, well, he's just going to be in an absolutely phenomenal position trying to dance around that Zergling. We'll have to keep an eye on that probe, uh, probe though, to see exactly what he does. We've got one Zergling out front of Asu's base. That will be scouting for Demanga just to see when and if Asu decides to push out. As we can see Cyber Next Core coming on through, working on some decent saturation here at that expansion as well. Back over here in the main, he's got some pretty solid saturation. Also with those two assimilators. No assimilators yet at that natural expansion. Let's take a look back at the uh, probe scout and again, just kind of dancing around the map and he is looking for a possible expansion for Demanga. Surprised he's checking those rock expos though, since obviously Demaga hasn't destroyed any of these rocks yet and is nowhere near that. And it looks like at last Demaga may be able to kill off this probe. He's getting so very close. Just one more shot. We do need to worry about some shield regen. And oh no, the shield regen prevented him from being able to kill off the worker. And this is pretty exciting. Zealot's going to come up and try to engage. That Zergling is so dedicated though. He will continue to push forward and finally deciding, you know what, not going to happen. We do have another Zergling right over here though. So is he going to try to help a nope? Stalker coming down to assist. 
taking out the Zergling. Two shots, just needs one more. And the Zergling barely making it away with his life still intact. Very nice here. We've got two Zelnaga Towers maintained by Demaga right now. So he's got some fairly solid vision of what's going on in the center of the map. Again, as we can see, I uh, got this expansion up. And look at all that saturation that's about to come through. We've got 10 drones just about to pop right now. So we'll be very, very econ focused early on. Certainly we can expect that given that third expansion that this will be his focus in the early stages of the game. A couple of Zerglings will be fanning out, and it looks like actually pulling back right now as Demaga is attempting to engage the Zealot. Does he have enough? It doesn't look like four Zerglings should not be enough to do that. Uh, so the Zealot's going to make it away nice and safe, and we've got a couple more Zerglings coming down to actually reinforce. And with these eight, it looks like he will have enough to actually engage on Zealot, but as we can see, Zealot pulling back home. Back over here, we have a Stalker and Sentry as well, so Hasu uh, trying to maintain map control as much as he possibly can. Back over here inside of the main base, we can see Gateway coming on through up front. Very notably, though, we've got a Robotic coming through as well as these two additional gateways. So not going crazy gateway heavy early on. Coming out with the robotics, getting himself some tech and allowing him to work his way up into uh, the observer as well. We've got a zealot dancing around the map and I wonder if he's going to be checking up here for that possibility of the expansion. Uh, very interesting that Zamanga has placed a spore crawler here. Possibility of DT uh, but more likely dealing with some sort of phoenix or void ray harass. This will certainly help against it but uh oh look at this. Here comes Hasu right now, scouting out with the Zealot, and he will be fully aware of this expansion. Now Zerglings able to mop him up, but the, it is way too late already. The uh, damage is done in the sense that that expansion did get scouted out. We've got a Zergling here managing to take down that probe. Uh, these two pylons getting warped in are telling us that Hasu is very likely to expand into his third and wants to make some sort of a wall right here to prevent Zamaga from pushing up with speed links and doing too much damage. This one, Zergling, should be uh, getting taken care of pretty quickly, and there we go. And now Hasu turning around and getting ready to break down those rocks. So it looks like it will be a macro focus here from both players. We're seeing that transition that will be for the mid game here. Hasu working his way up into Colossus. So he'll be working with a fair amount of gateway units, but then the bulk of his force will also consist of those Colossus as well. Tamaga again, nice and saturated over here. Does want to try to work into his fourth. He uh, can expect right now that third expansion because he spotted those two pylons over here. He is expecting Hasu to move right into that third, and there you go. And as a result, of course, Tamaga will at least want a fourth expansion. And look at this. He's got a fourth hidden up over here, and we'll be dropping the expo over here as well. So nice creep spread going on for Tamaga. We do have a work up into Spire Tech. We've got that Roach Warren out. Does he have much? Just 15 Zerglings right now. That is all he's sitting on. Observer Scout moving out across the map right now for Hasu so he will be scouting out he's checking that expansion you can see right now he's actually going to be moving straight up here into this spot so he will be spotting Demaga's expo over here but again keep in mind he's fully aware of this expansion already spine crawler as a little bit of defense and there's that wall off as expected Hasu coming down with this gateway wall off this of course allows him to contend with any possible speeling run buys and it's going to force them to funnel from this direction if they actually want to get on through and obviously Hasu's forces will be sitting here for most of the game until he actually decides to push out so working his way up to Colossus, now with the one, he's got a second one coming on through, also getting that Thermal Lance upgrade, and again, here's that fifth expansion just about to pop, he's got number four sitting right over here, and again, just very nice creep spread going on for Demagi, doing his best to get some control of the center of the map, it looks like Speedling Muta is exactly what we will be seeing from Demaga though, he has got the level one air upgrades coming out for his flying Mutalus, and the Mutalus starting to work their way across the map, now right now, the biggest thing here for Demaga, in all honesty, is to try to do some damage, he really wants to try to see if he can do some economic damage even if not economic if you can kill off a couple pylons and just try to harass Hasu as much as possible uh, that's going to help him a lot and this is really something that he needs to get underway immediately because the longer he waits the longer he allows Hasu to build up the worse off he's going to be so here we go Muta's finally moving in trying to do a bit of economic damage as those workers pull back he needs to be very wear wary about those stalkers getting warped in right now trying to chase down that one Colossus doing a bit of damage but we'll be forced back right now as those stalkers move down to engage Mutas, of course, taking advantage of their speed and mobility. Wouldn't be too surprised if he tries to hit this expansion and then move he maybe possibly move right into the main as well. We do have that tower over here controlled by Demaga with that one Zergling. Expansion over here is up. We've got that expo over there as well. Uh, the Observer getting scouted out by that Overseer, so the Overseer needs to be careful. Uh, the Observer needs to be careful about uh, not moving too close to any uh, anti-air units. Uh, I don't expect these Mutas to pull all the way back just for that Observer, but uh, obviously Demaga is going to want to stop that scouting if at all possible. Queens will be enough to 
drop that out of the sky. Don't know why I'm so focused on that. Not the biggest of deals. We've got level 2 weapons upgrades coming out right now for Hasu. Also getting that blink research. Muta is moving back in. They will be target firing down that can cannon, forcing the cancellation there. Trying to go for a couple more of these cannons. Managed to get that one right there. And uh, unfortunately, we'll be pushed back after that. We've got some more stalkers getting warped in over here. Needs to be very careful. That's way too many stalkers. There we go. Finally pushing back. Tons of stalkers down here as well. Hasu trying to chase, finally deciding to pull back though. Uh, doesn't want to continue to pursue those for fear of possibly getting caught in the middle against a ton of speedlings. And a ton of speedlings is exactly what Damaga has. Look at all of these. He's got 20 more about to come out. We've got a few more mutas over here. Uh, looks like we're going to be seeing Hasu actually move across the map right now, trying to do some overlord sniping. Also trying to catch any possible stray units. But again, speedling mutas, all we're seeing here from Damaga. Very interesting decision. Again, certainly can be very effective. One big thing that he, again he needs to do is try to make sure his harass is a little bit more effective than it has been thus far. Couple of the uh, stalkers over here at the center of the map getting some map control. Taking a look at the upgrades we've got one armor and two weapons. Level 3 weapons coming on through. Upgrades here for Damaga he's 01 for the air units working on the level 2 carpus and melee of course for his ground units those zerglings actually moving on in forcing a cancel there. Very nice. Mutas again trying to harass and do as much damage as possible while staying away from the bulk of his forces stalkers getting ready to blink. Mutas Looks like they're going to make it nice and safe. Though. A couple more shots there from some Blink Stalkers, but unfortunately wasn't able to kill any Mutilus in that exchange. And it does look like Hasu is ready to push out across the map. Hopefully with this creep spread, uh, Damaga will be aware ahead of time before it gets way too dangerous. But again, yes, Hasu is preparing for that push right now. Moving out with a lot of Stalkers, a lot of Blink Stalkers, few Colossus, a couple of Zealots and Sentries into that mix. We can see right now Supply Cap, Damaga. And how is that comparing to Hasu? Hasu's got 90 Army Supply as opposed to the 118. Uh, so as we can see, Damaga is sitting with quite a, few, uh, quite a few workers. In fact, we take a look at the count. 82 drones as opposed to just the 70 six probes. Uh, so being more worker heavy does mean that Damaga won't be having as many offensive units, but again, we can see with some very nice upgrades. 2-1 there, working on that 3-1, and then some upgrades there for his air units. Now we do have a transition coming out right now for Hasu. Hasu is working his way up into some high Templar. Also, of course, getting the speed upgrade over there, but here we go. Mute is moving out, trying to engage some of these uh, stalkers out of position. Bulk of the force over there for Hasu getting ready to engage as well, and we're going to see Damaga continue to fly around, and I really want to see him harass right now. This is kind of a optimal time for him to move on in and there we go moving in with those mutas again just trying to do a little bit damage here and there any time that he gets a chance now keep in mind we got to keep an eye over here bulk of the force is moving up for Hasu he's about to engage these zerglings zerglings getting roasted there uh, there we go finally Zamaga pulling back as he should doesn't really want to lose any of those zerglings unnecessarily to that large that large force there in the middle for Hasu ton of Blink Stalkers finally get some High Templar in the mix. Again, we can see that Storm Research has finished. They just need enough energy now. Blinking way out of position, though. This is a great opportunity for these Mutas to do a bit of damage while the uh, Blink is still on cooldown. So managed to getting a few more kills there. Actually waltzing right into the main right now. Stalkers trying to pull forward to do what they can at the exact same time. We got Speed and Counterattack moving down at this expansion. And he's going to force the uh, cancel over here of those buildings. And he's going to take out the Nexus as well. Very nice counterattack there by Hasu. We do have uh, Hasu actually moving up to try to engage Demog. I'm sorry. Nice counterattack there by Damaga and Hasu laying down some force fields gonna force those speedlings to run by those colossus instead they're gonna be running right now into the third expansion some blink stalkers though preventing those zerglings from getting too far and unfortunately for Damaga all those zerglings got mopped up at the same time though look at this in the main Damaga what is he gonna go for this is the question first taking out that high templar trying to do a little bit of economic damage while Hasu's army is completely out of position actually engaging right now those cannons will be taking those out very quickly and again Hasu is just way out of position right now and there we go finally the the Blink Stalkers moving forward, and that's going to help him deal with these, but at the same time, Mutas will just be pulling back into a safe position, and unfortunately, Hasu not able to catch up. His army is just too slow and cannot deal with the mobility of those Mutas. I do want to take a look right now. We can see resources lost. Overall, Damaga is behind. I want to take a look at the number of workers killed. Damaga managing to kill off 17 workers, and that's a big advantage to him. So Blink Stalkers engaging right now with those Mutas, forcing them to push back. We are seeing a transition right now as well for Hasu. We can see that Greater Spire is coming up. Seeing a transition for Damaga here against Hasu. We'll be working his way up into some of those Brew Lords. Mutas still in the main and still doing damage. And oh no, losing that pylon. If he loses this pylon as well, he's going to have a lot of unpowered 
overpowered gateways, and this is going to hurt. We're going to be seeing, again, Demaga go straight for those pylons at the exact same time. Here comes a counter push from Hasu. He will be trying to push against Demaka, knowing that all of his Muna is over here, and still trying to outpower as many buildings as possible. Here comes the push right now. He's going to be walking into some of that static defense of these spine crawlers. Hasu will be doing what he can. The Mutas are still inside of that natural expansion, still trying to do as much damage as possible. Finally working his way through his spine crawlers, taking some damage before he actually engages any of these forces. Nice feedbacks going down there on those. Oh my gosh, those infestors losing all of that energy. That's very unfortunate. Mutas still doing damage over here at this natural expansion. And what is Hasu going to do? He needs to take out some of these expos. He has managed to kill off a few workers. We've got 14 Brew Lords coming through. And where are those? Looks like they're right there. Demanga about to hop up with a lot of Brew Lords. And that's really going to be scary for Hasu's forces here. Even with those Blink Stalkers, that is so many Brew Lords. Right now, we're going to be seeing Hasu move on to Demaga's natural expansion. Muta's finally decided to pull back right now. They have done a ton of damage inside of the main and that natural expansion. And here we go. Brew Lords about to engage. The Stalkers have just blinked right now. We've got a couple of High Templar down here as well. Moving forward, there go the Brew Links trying to do as much damage as possible. A couple of Storms trying to help. We've got Muta's moving in from the other side. A couple of Speedlings moving down as well to help with those Brew Links. Muta's trying to engage those Stalkers. Here come those Brew Lords. Going to be doing a lot of damage. Seeing some big Storms going down on the Brew Lords trying to spread out right now, trying to prevent as much of that splash damage as possible. Stalkers blinking forward. We got a couple of speedlings coming out from the backside as well. And Hasu's force is getting completely surrounded. And Hasu is going to be losing everything. Unbelievable. Pulling back. He's got a few more blink stalkers warping in over here. A couple of uh, speedlings will be pushing up for a counterattack as well as those mutas. Mutas need to be careful though about engaging this heavy blink stalker force. Here we go. Brew Lords moving down right now for Demaga. We've got 22 more speedlings coming out. And I think Hasu is in really a terrible position right now. That was just a very unfortunate situation. He got completely sandwiched there by Demaga's forces. And he just did not do enough damage to those Brew Lords. A couple of speedlings will be chasing down these stalkers here. This is not looking good for Hasu at all. Really, really tough situation. Let's take a look here at the resources lost there. About even Hasu is slightly behind. But in all honesty, look at how far ahead Demaga is in terms of the army supply. He's just got a tremendous advantage. And Hasu will have a very difficult time defending this. A ton of upgraded speedlings there. 2-2 right now. Doing so much damage. Moving up with those Munas. We've got Brew Lords over here providing a buffer against that Stalker Force. Stalkers will be blinking under the Brew Lord, trying to do some damage. But here come the Speedlings trying to mop up the rest of those stalkers. The brutal Lord numbers are thinning up, but it doesn't matter. Tamaga is in a tremendous position. Hasu calling the good game, and what a game number one. Absolutely unreal game number one here between Zamaga and Hasu. Now we will be moving on to game number two in just one moment, guys. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Keep watching and keep owning.